What would you think if I told you that the real evil one in the story is Jean Wayang and that she not only faked her death, but she is the one who is planning and manipulating everything? What would you imagine if you realized that in reality everything we have thought is not true and that we have been deceived since the beginning of the series? That's why I recommend that you subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell to be among the first to see our videos. We are all waiting for the new episodes of the Little Women series so we can answer questions that so far we don't have answers to. As we know, this series is about the story of three extremely poor sisters who are going through hard times. Their mother and parents have abandoned them and the only thing left for them to do is to stay together in order to endure all the difficult situations they have day by day. Already many fans have their theories, and in this channel, we have talked about some of them. One of them is that the real baddie of the story could actually be Won sang a the wife of Park Jae sang the politician we see in the series. Already in these last chapters, this theory is losing strength with everything that is happening and with all the things we are learning. But in social networks are circulating several interesting theories about this series and that could give a total twist to the story. Theories that if they are true will leave all the fans astonished. The theory that we will talk about today is a crazy idea, but at the same time it makes some sense. And if we analyze it I think it has complete logic and answers all our unanswered questions. The theory talks about Jean Wayang and the perfect plan that she could have developed to become the baddie of the series, and no one would have noticed. Let's remember that the whole story is based on trying to solve her supposed suicide, and that her best friend started to suspect from the beginning that it wasn't really a suicide but that someone had murdered her. We already saw that Park Jae Sang was actually at Jean Wayang's apartment that day. This hints that he might be the one who murdered her, but this theory will probably make you doubt all this information. We started by saying that Jean Wayang was a person with a double life. And although she was a hard-working accountant she apparently had a double life where power and money was her priority. This came as a shock to her best friend because when she started investigating her friend's suicide she realized her double life and the social network account she had was totally different from her real life. At the beginning of the story, we see how Jean Wayang talks about the operation she would do on her face, because her intention was to have a perfect face. Something strange is that we never got to see her face when she was dead in her apartment. We simply saw her legs, but we never saw her face. This raises our suspicions and makes us wonder if she was really dead or if she was even the one who was really dead in the apartment. As unbelievable as it may seem, many fans think that Park Jae-sang's wife is actually the real Jean Wayang who has already undergone surgery and a face change. This might sound unbelievable and seem like something out of a sci-fi movie, but I am going to detail the reasons why many fans think this theory. The first thing to point out is that both Jean Wayang and Won sang -a are people with a lot of ego. That is to say that they have many similarities in their behavior and character. They both believe that they must struggle to move up the social ladder in order to acquire power and fame. In Chapter 4 Won sang -a's attitude towards Oh in Ju hints that she might actually be Jean Wayang but she cannot reveal it yet. Although it is an unconfirmed theory, we can't deny that it is very interesting. In the series we can realize that the relationship Jean Wayang had with the director was not as we thought. At the beginning we thought that the director was even the one who hurt her but soon after we realized that this was not correct. Later we realized that actually when Jean Wayang appeared she was the one who approached the director. So we could think what were her motivations in approaching the director. Obviously they were economic motivations to be able to reach a high level in the company. We also saw how she lived a double life in Singapore, and had a social network account which was totally different from the life she lived in Korea. This account had a totally different name. So we can think that this was probably the real name and that the fake personality she was living was the one everyone knew in Korea. 
It is impossible that a person after achieving what she had achieved and having the money she had would end up committing suicide in her apartment and leaving everything behind. Many even think that she actually ran everything from Singapore and that she is actually the person at the top behind all these bribes and illegal things. Let's now talk about the alleged relationship between Won sang a and Jean Wa Young. She takes So in Ju to a fancy restaurant and there she shows him that she was close friends with her best friend. It turns out that in the investigation Oh in Ju doesn't find a bill from a restaurant in Singapore and that's where Won sang as confession comes in where she tells him that she was the one who paid that bill and that she was in Singapore with her friend as well. The question we can ask ourselves then is why Won sang showed this bill? We don't really have enough evidence to know if they were really that close. So we could go on thinking what we talked about before and that actually the two women are one and that just because Oh in Ju is investigating they want to divert her from the real story by showing her these things to confuse her. Now the question we must ask ourselves at this point is whether the whole family is involved in this farce. Recall that in Chapter 6, we see Park Jae-sang entering Jean Wayang's apartment and although this hints that he was the one who murdered her, this could also show us that he was simply arranging everything with Jean Wayang in his apartment before starting the plan. But then one question remains unanswered and that is that if Jean Wayang is alive, then whose body was found in the apartment and had the same tattoos on her legs? This we still don't know, but we could think that it could be anyone since as we know this family has the power to disappear anyone. We could also wonder if one Sang Woo, the real heir of the company and who is in a psychiatric hospital, knows about all this that is happening? The reality is that it is very difficult for him to know or to realize what is really going on because he is locked up in that hospital. So there are a lot of unanswered questions in this series that we as fans want to know. Actually every chapter that passes we learn many things that surprise us, but there is still more to come. Tell me if you really think Jean Wayang is not dead, and if you think she might be planning her own death as part of a bigger plan? Leave your opinion in the comments so we can read them. If you like this video don't forget to share it with your friends and like it.